Hello and welcome back to Started New Horizons. And when we last of all, we used our interbellum years to gear up for war with the Gorn again. And this time around, uh, I do believe we can take most of their population centers, if not all of them, which should really uh, well make them a non-issue for the rest of the playthrough. I'm hoping it also remove them as a threat to galactic peers, because it's very important to the Vulcan High Command, of course. And ultimately, I'm contemplating also putting down a claim on this supposedly independent colony, which is apparently the last population center uh, of theirs, if we take the home system and the adjacent one back here. But at least then with two shipyards, if I don't misremember, and uh, exclusively some mining colonies. Uh, there isn't even a single colonizable planet anywhere, so I'm not quite sure how this would work out if we take every single population center. I mean, we cannot claim the entire hegemony, unfortunately so, and we also cannot request the subjugation, because it's not a current and uh, valid war group for us for whatever reason. Well, regardless, I suppose uh, we are already pretty ambitious, and we have to, of course, <laughs> defeat all these armies, and then also take over the entire area, because they won't be uh, faltering pretty easily, at least not willingly so. Hmm, apparently the Akumarians also have a claim here, um, could be interesting, while we're militaristic, uh, we have some interstellar campaigns apparently, and they're also our rivals, so it's a lot cheaper to claim some of the systems, which is nice. I guess, I mean, what do they have available afterwards? There's literally only some mining and a couple of star bases. How can they even call their ships if they don't have any populace any longer, you know? I think the entire empire should just fall down once we take care of this business, incidentally. Um, yeah, this is in their realm, of course, even though it doesn't look the part. Uh, I surely think we can maybe make this happen, even though it's pretty pricey. Yeah, surprisingly indeed, they were, of course, they won't be going to war with us at the same time, I would presume. Okay, so we make that claim. And they will be uh, unhappy about this, but I don't care really, right? And we also need to do something about our federation. Uh, and I've decided to put one envoy in here right now. Because uh, we're getting plenty of bonuses at once and if we level up, incidentally. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, there anything else? I mean, we know about the Gorn, so maybe spying on them uh, is no longer that necessary. That could be. And this is no longer necessary, right? Because they are an alliance and they will be joining us anyway. Okay, we put two envoys in here. Next time around, we maybe will be seeing some upgrading instead of having this minus 10 XP per month or whatever. So anything else? I think we have an idling leader. Who is that? How can this be? We have three fleets. They become uh, unassigned sometimes, I've noticed, which is really strange, frankly. Yeah, okay, so well, uh, fantastic. So we have another admiral and okay, both doing anything right now. Oh, that's fantastic, right? Okay, we also have some uh, rivalries being declared, <laughs> but it doesn't concern us, of course. Into is falling. You yeah, they're no challenging. So we kiss, I guess. Me. But since we'll be declaring for you pretty soon, uh, of course, you cannot because there's a crippling shortage of all sorts of materials. And we also need to recruit more uh, soldiers and officers because it's going down at the rate of 10 per month. But we have a 5.4k, I think it's just there. So ultimately, it should last us for the war and the next war and the war after that, presumably. Okay, so well, uh, we can go to war, maybe not right now, because we have to wait for our ships. And uh, we also need to do some upgrading still. Why do we not? Um, that couldn't be a terrible idea. Okay, apparently there's some ancient drones. Nimbus free, okay, so apparently it's a Nimbus free, the planet of Galactic Peace, with the station of Galactic Peace, and the system of Galactic Peace, you know. <laughs> okay, um... We gain some engineering research, okay, and we have an inconvenient space elevator. It's inconvenient, so, well, uh, fantastic, minus uh, 20, but it's at least only for the next 10 years, okay, that's uh, a little bit unfortunate, but I would take the research, incidentally. Okay, I think we should probably do this, since the Orion shipyard is right here, isn't it? Okay, so do some upgrading, and then we move to the front lines back at Philibos. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long, I'm hoping, because it's only one ship or so. Okay, but well, then we have to wait and see what we can do. I think the Gorn will probably declare war on us before uh, we declare war on them, I would figure. Yeah, we have so little minerals to go about, it's no point of even trying to sit on any additional structures, incidentally. <laughs> I was looking at this stuff in between episodes, uh, but I was able to finance a couple of defensive structures on our star bases. Sure, the cat people, uh, actually there are multiple cat people in the universe, but yes, I guess, I think it's fine though. Yeah, I would also like to invite more people to the coalition, but everyone around us except for these guys is already in the coalition. So, <laughs> what gives, I guess? Oh, that could be interesting. I think we can maybe put an envoy in here. If only we had more than just a handful of to work with. Okay, but I guess there's no point of spying right now, so we try to improve relations and then we invite them to our coalition. That could be a good idea. And as a matter of fact, we should probably do some of these secondary things anyway. Yeah, association first and then we go with um, inviting them, I would presume. And of course, I like that the ruler is here, but think.
Okay, so was wie die Only One Shipping upgraded, yes, so that's good. Uh, but are they going up to? You. Der entführte der aus, und der Hoste, of course, ist hier mit Fink und Becky, wer für Stade to build some uh, defenses, I think it's just, um, yeah, and also already construction of some uh, solar panels, because war auch crippling shortage is, uh, war a DJ set, wäre crippling. Ja, sein Chip ist das Ding Research, because we run out of things to survey, incidentally. Okay, so I cannot enable the star lane, so I have no idea how we can uh, move back here, right, incidentally. Okay, so why is it a pop-up? That's not important that the slide is the nose, what guess I guess. Now well, eventually we'll be in position I'm hoping. Yeah, I should probably move a little bit closer to the front lines now, right? Uh, because, well, it's nice and all happen being at the base here, but the moment we need to be moving to the front lines, uh, unfortunately so. Unfortunately so, depending on how we look at it, then we need to move against uh, their home system uh, at the same time, I would presume. So let's get in position, away from our star bases, even though it will be pricey, of course. But uh, this is a, yeah, this is the 1k fleet, of course it's only our uh, soldiers right now, so what gives I guess. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how we can proceed back here, but we need to of course take care of the stations before they upgrade them to level 2. We have uh, researched the technology, or we're doing exactly that right now, but otherwise, okay, it's a, uh, oh, okay, is someone declaring war? Hehehehehe, they're declaring that on them, really? Oh, that's bad for us because they have some claims on the systems, right? Okay, well, that's, uh, that's bad. I think we should probably seize this opportunity then. And maybe wait for one month or so while they have their ships and, uh, yeah, uh, away some place. That could be a terrible idea. So we sweep in and take the home system. That's probably a good idea. Okay, what are we looking at in the Gorn system, incidentally? Uh, I think it was free something, okay, right? Wasn't it? Indeed it is, but it shouldn't be too difficult for us to move bang. Okay, we're moving in and hopefully we can jump right back here, get our armies in and uh, claim as many systems as quickly as possible. And the Federation doesn't need to help out ideally, would figure. Or oh, United Offer that, madam. Okay, what's the war goal? It's probably uh, reclaiming some systems, even though they didn't lose any, right? I think at least. Uh, right, well, that would be interesting. We also way over naval capacity, so I'm building a couple of um, naval bases, uh, these depots, where possible. Yeah, that we can do this right now, of course. Okay, so do we take this? Well, then we need to move in with both fleets, right? That should be good. So, okay, this is a 5.5k fleet. And the cruiser, of course, gives us 3.6, so we should be able to take care of the star base too along the way. And this one's probably also, it's 8k VD. Uh, of course, it's the borders, so if they fortify the borders, so we, yeah, but I need to uh, spam our ships into the same system, uh, we, we would figure, but the own military is busy in one way or another. Okay, it's uh, unsurprising, but what can be done about this? I think it's the answer. Uh, I think I take it, uh, even though we still have that minus 20 ballos to don't be. Yeah, once again, I don't care, but is this a pop-up, I couldn't care less as a matter of fact. Also, die couldn't care less, right? Okay, mobile artillery. Okay, we don't have uh, time to train armies right now, so it gives, I guess. Uh, could be a good idea, just a uh, basic uh, research opportunity we need to get out of the way, of course. Ja, yeah, uh, apparently the fleets are already in uh, hostile territory. Probably, right? Please get moving so we can jump in here and take care of business or star base. They shouldn't be falling very easily, uh, especially if the military is on the other side of the galaxy right now. Oh, relatively speaking, I mean, with ship speed minus 50%, it is, um, is uh, it may as well just be on the other side of the galaxy, of course. And now we can build uh, deep space stations, and this is something uh, we need to be using our constructors for, because it's a special construction project. Okay, as it tells back here, it's just a tutorial tip, essentially. Okay, so maybe, but once in a while, uh, we need to actually take care of the ground first, shouldn't we? Fragments of life, I think it's part of the chase. I think, is it not? Okay, we go. That's very important. Having some alloys. Yeah, extremely valuable. That's not overstating anything in this uh, game, of course. Right? Okay, Starbase uh, level 2. But once we have some time to spare, we can make this happen. Nuclear minefield is a defense stuff, of course. But for now, we focus on upgrading uh, some of our ships, yes. Okay, doing some auto constructing. I think that's fine. Okay, I can you get finally over here, my friend? Takes way too long sometimes, I figure. Okay, so there we go. So what's our position in the system actually, because it's important if you've ever believed this. Okay, we are in orbit around the star base or whatever we figure. Okay, we're moving and then we should be declaring for you pretty soon that would figure. Okay, so we want to of course push our claims. Want?
actually, yeah, we did away with that because they're too challenging right now. But regardless, I will declare Warner, I think. Nothing else we can do. Yeah, we can't get a claim. What I want to do is uh, make them a vessel of ours that we cannot, of course, unfortunately. So, okay, we uh, try to conquer what we need to do. And I do believe it's up for voting. But I also don't believe that these people will have any other ideas here. Yes, okay, so nine claims. So let's just declare war. And we also have a minus 25 of war exhaust modifier now, which is nice. Okay, what is it now? What's with all the beeping back here? <laughs> okay. Uh, it will be automatically declined. What do you mean? Yeah, we want, of course... Thank you, game. Please register my click. Yeah, that would be a nice. Right, okay. So apparently there is an asteroid. Very the fantastic um, collision course of these uh, Metaka people. Well, we don't have any military vessels in the area, do we not? That is indeed a very uh, difficult situation. I mean... <laughs> Fleets. Okay, alien vessels back here. I suppose the starbase uh, could fire at this thing, maybe. Cannot fire on this. Can we do? Too far away. Yeah, cannot make it happen, but cannot shoot back here. Well, isn't that lovely? I suppose we can uh, try to put in sub uh, fighters because they can certainly uh, move for the system, can they not? Maybe that's something we can try because uh, well, we don't have any military vessels over here, so that gives, I guess, that maybe the end of the uh, Mentakens, maybe. Oh, we can try that, of course. Well, so the um, defenses, we put in some fighter craft. Uh, they have a range of, does it say? Doesn't say. Okay, takes a couple of seconds. Well, okay, then we can finance two of these, presumably, for now, because we have a uh, limit of two, apparently. So it must be an outpost, not a starbase. Yeah, probably. Well, hopefully we can shoot some people. And as you can see, the Klingons, they have made some inroads into the Romulan Star Empire. It's a little bit uh, unfortunate, but it cannot be helped right now, can it not? And guess what the problem is? Uh, once again, it's the fucking energy credits. <laughs> okay. Isn't that a delight? Always a delight here, my friends. Okay, there goes more intel, so we can uh, send in our ships now, which is good. So all of them at the same time, and we go uh, right into the home system, presumably. Yeah, I think the fleets, they're all in Akamerian territory right now. Can we actually move back here? Yeah, indeed we can. Well, then we uh, know there aren't any troops back here, incidentally, from what I remember at least. And our starbase should be fordering very easily, so we make our way through here. Take care of business and all these systems. A couple of starbases, I think some of them will be 8k now, probably. Well, we can reinforce, probably have to reinforce uh, some fleets after combat has ended. It makes it very difficult if systems are that close to each other for whatever reason. Yeah, but we need to claim all the systems, right? Don't we move together here because there will be a little bit uh, difficult stuff to take out. Alright, so this will be good enough. So let's just take a look at the system. So this is just a, a 3k station. So this is a pushover. But it could be. Then another 3k station. So maybe I'm worried about nothing. At least on our frontier here. Yeah, also 3k. And you are also a 3k, I would presume. Yeah, indeed you are. So, okay, they have fortified only one border outpost that would be over here then. Okay, well, since uh, we were paving the way, I guess you can come over here sooner or later. It's one jump for you and two jump for these people, so I suppose we should probably uh, hang out and wait for now, right? Okay, so we are declaring war on the go on hegemony for the second time, but probably not the last time because we cannot claim everything uh, at once can be done. So, okay, what's the war score? It's mm, 870. Okay, so war has started and, well, war exhaustion will be a problem, especially if we lose some ships, of course. Probably have to trade for something here in terms of energy credits again, as you would think. Well, over here we can't do anything. The shipyard is still under production, so, um, well, construction, I should say, so we can't even get some uh, frigates back here to help out. And even if we did, we have no allies to spare, of course. Smuggler outpost. Okay, so they are interfering with an FTL or pre-FTL species, I believe. Oh, but, well, we can't do anything with that in particular, I would figure. Well, it's not so important, I'm hoping. Okay, there comes an Akamarian fleet. Well, we want to actually uh, claim the systems, you know, so we have to do this before they do it. What type of fleet are we looking at back here? It's uh, <laughs> lovely, fantastic. Of course, they declare war uh, just a month before we do, so they will be interfering with the stuff, right? Won't they be? I think they will, so we have to now go in here. Uh, but they can because they have no influence. Of course, they do. Okay, low awareness. Well, fantastic. Another encounter with some aliens I don't really care about right now. Yeah, we can't do anything about that, right? I don't think so, at least. But gives, I guess. And Dorits are moving now, which is nice of them. And there we go. They have claimed that fucking thing. Of course they did. And our ships are moving, uh, not at the same time, incidentally. <laughs> 
Okay. Fantastic, more ancient ruins, but more we have other concerns to be not. I think we have other concerns. Right, okay, of course, the fucking Akamarans are interfering with our plans. That makes it more difficult to claim these systems, of course. Uh, I suppose we can get in here right away, can we not? So let's just click on here, please. Uh, give me the transport fleet, and then we land some troops as soon as possible, because, well, we can really finance a, a prolonged for anyway. Okay, but well, apparently the starbase is still operational, so we cannot right now. Uh, why then? Then these get in orbit and then see what we can do. And the orbit, I can also order this from this menu, I believe. Okay, our ships are moving against the starbase. All of them have arrived mostly at the same time. And we have one cruiser and otherwise it's lighter warships and nothing else for us. Isn't that a delight? Okay, uh, this is the fleet of theirs. 3.3k, of course, uh, we are neutral toms right now, so it gives, I guess. Oh, well, fantastic, so... <laughs> Great, at least I didn't bring any troops, right? Uh, why did then? Fantastic, lovely. Hopefully we can scrape take up some influence. That would be swell, but I don't think we can do so in wartime. Okay, ancient runes we found during observation. Also nice. Are yeah, they going? I'm not sure, but as long as they don't interfere with our war plans any longer, I think I take it. Okay, uh, I'm not quite sure who you are, but if you want to an embassy, then be my guest. Um, are we taking care of business? Okay, what's the problem? Yes, we're fighting the star base. Hopefully, uh, successfully, yes. It's only a 3k something. And also an armored uh, facility and everything, but still, shouldn't be too difficult for us. Okay, indeed, it's not fantastic. So then, uh, get me that assault thing. They can land some troops now. Bang. Yeah, land armies. And then we move on to the next era because we haven't even seen these fleets right now. And uh, someone else has declared war. And if we lose any ships. No, we didn't lose any ships, and the starbase needs to be repaired, and well, okay, so it's least something, I think that should uh, be pathetic now, or still, at least inferior. Okay, inferior, want? so we're cutting them down to size, which is always uh, according to my desires. Yes, okay, we have some troops back here, and the science ship, and uh, uh, yeah, constructor, so not too worrisome. I'm not quite sure where their fleet is, so they probably send it against them, I would figure, and why are the Akamarans jumping in this area? I'm not sure about this. But I'm not seeing anything on sensors, so we don't have to worry about anything in particular right now, which is nice, I think, at least. Famous last words and all. Would tell us if we spot enemy fleets, by the way. Has established communications. Yeah, energy credits, yeah, once again, these fucking energy credits. We don't want to default, of course. Yeah, so we'll be going pretty well, I would figure. Yeah, yeah, another people, uh, we don't really care about right now. Yeah, no problem, I would figure. Even though we keep losing some troops and they don't have an admiral and we are an invader if I don't misremember. Okay, well it's then pretty difficult uh, situation after all, so it turns out. Maybe we should have done some planetary bombardment after all. Well, okay, now we know. So numerical advantage doesn't ensure success with our core technology. Okay, shield hit points will be applied automatically, I'm hoping. Uh, we can always use my research, that's not a terrible idea. And we also need to now once again come back to the United Earth government and beg for some stupid energy credits because, well... <laughs> The situation is just uh, plain ridiculous, frankly. Nothing else to say, uh, indeed. Okay, so give me some energy credits again. I've been doing this for God knows how often, right? Probably too often. Okay, so then give us a thousand if we can scrape this together and we give whatever we can. Uh, but indeed, part ways with right now. So we are losing uh, nothing. We cannot trade water ice, but guess I guess. I think they like these crystals, didn't they? They like them a lot. Probably a strategic resource we are uh, getting. <laughs> Yeah, giving away presumably once again. Okay, so give me that, please. Immediately it's minus 1000 for one energy credit. Really, the eye is uh, pretty broken in this game. Yeah, heaven forbid we fix anything, but uh, well, uh, if we want to sell you some DLC, that's all where our effort will be going, presumably. Okay, so Akamarians have claimed uh, one system, so it must be where the fleet is located right now. But it makes it a bit easier for us, presumably. But we need to actually conquer the systems we want to claim, as you would think. And this is an AK Starbase, of course, I guess, I guess. Ja, yeah, and of course they have agreed to this, as you would think. Ja, yeah, and uh, taking over, please, thank you very much. I'm going to try to send the science ships in here. Because it doesn't serve any purpose right now for them. Well, exhaustion is 4 versus 4 right now, so that's always worrisome. Time project, what is it? Raid Smuggler Base. Okay, there's <laughs> Transport Ship, really. Uh, okay, uh, where is it? Back here. Well, I suppose we can order some troops and get it done. That's maybe not a terrible idea in of itself. Yeah, we should be at here someplace. And we need one for these transport fleets anyhow, I think. Okay, then we recruit the army or so. Maybe if we can make this happen, we should have at least a couple of... What is the time, Commando? 
Okay. Outfit with time crystals designed to loop time. Limited temporal advantage, but only if we use it and the enemy doesn't have it, I suppose. Okay, so I don't think it's too worrisome, but some artillery could be useful later on. So why don't... Okay, it's too... Wow. Takes too long, I think, right? Do have... Uh, wow, takes one hundred minerals. Deep strike commandos uh, take... Uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, trained officers. Okay, we go with them, I guess. Okay, two of those. That should be plenty to take care of this uh, disturbance, I would figure. If I don't forget, of course, that would be the emphasis here. But we have some war ongoing in the meantime. So, did we take the system? I sure we, we did, right? Oh, invasion is still not finished. Okay. Now it is finished, of course. Very lovely. Okay, we've been a little bit decimated, but we can get some friends in here now. An alien empire has established communications. Okay, did we take care of the star base? I sure we did. Yeah, now we're moving on, of course, to the next area. Okay, a matter of time. I think it's uh, one of those uh, fake, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> time traveler guys. Yeah, they pretend to be coming from the future, but they're actually just stealing some technology for uh, their own gain and then going back to the past, I think. Uh, but it could be interesting. Yeah, this guy from the TNG episode. I suppose it could lead to something interesting, so why don't we do this? <laughs> okay, but the Vulcans are easily offended, uh, understandably so. Politely, huh? Now well, it seems that the Vulcan way of doing things. <laughs> but the worst possible outcome, I would assume. The worst possible outcome, of course. I should have known better, but what gives I guess it's funny, of course, right? <laughs> okay, but I would like to help out these uh, guys over here with the asteroid, but what can we do with that, really? I mean, I cannot build a military vessel over here anyway. Can I do? I think we have another starbase. Maybe this finished production already. At least the shipyard. Yeah, this being upgraded still, right? Okay, where is it exactly? Yeah, the Outpost of Galactic Peace has a shipyard now. Well, maybe we can order one ship, but I think everything will be too pricey. Okay, two patrol figures. I mean, I don't want to lose right now, but if we want to help out these people, it's the only chance we're getting here, but figure. And then we can merge them with the other fleet, even though I do believe all of them are uh, at full command capacity right now. Yeah, of course, they have uh, control of this area and there's no colony, so they have full control uh, regardless, yes. Okay, another migration treaty with the cat people. I'll be my guest, I suppose. Yeah, and there we go, we lose the ship, uh, as you would think. With the experience, well, we can reinforce these uh, fleets if we have some time to spare. Yeah, with all frigates, these uh, star base, they aren't exactly push over, are they? Do. <laughs> of course, they aren't. Okay, research finished. What is it now? Okay, some... Uh, I think it's nitrates, you know, something along these lines. Okay, we can also build a galactic forum. Now, uh, we don't have a problem with that in particular, do we do? Black Hole Observatory could be interesting. Also, the research center for our star base. I think we may give this a try. Okay, what's the situation? I think it doesn't look too hot right now, does it do? Okay, we took care of the system. We're getting... Uh, I think we probably need to do this. Okay, the other ones will be too pricey, right? And we are already at full strength. Of course, the command ship got blasted, so it must be the cruiser and I would figure. Okay, then, so we need to move forward because well, we need to claim the systems, otherwise we have a problem, yes? Okay, so that's something we were getting, I'm hoping. It's also a star base, that's so how beefy is it? Six point something K, okay, um. Alright, well, um, if we take over the star base and it's a beefy star base, then we'll give us more war score. At least I think that's how it's supposed to work. But we also need to claim these systems, right? And we have two star bases, one of which was an 8K. And this is also 8K. Mm, now, we, we don't have to take control of these systems necessarily. We can also force them uh, to give them to us at the negotiation table. But we want to actually uh, land some armies first, wouldn't we? That's probably a good idea. Okay, get in here first. Of course, we have to jump deck. Yeah, of course we do. And I cannot see the Starlins because why would this be important, right? Why would this be important indeed? And uh, we have to claim the entire system because it's now fully controlled by the Vulcan High Command. That's something I'd like to see. That should be the add something to the war score. So I just see they are at uh, 7%. Okay, and they want to do what exactly to us? I'm not sure about this. Four armies lost, then we lost... Uh, actually, we lost four armies, they lost 12, I think, or something along these lines. And one of our ships got blasted. 
could be certainly worse for us, right? Occupation, um, well, <laughs> it's still an waste of here, of course, because we're claiming too many systems, because we are a little bit too greedy, aren't we? And I think uh, these transport ships should have finished production. Let's hope so. Um, did they have, right? Okay, so we can go in here now and research this project. It should be good enough for moving. Even though it's only one army. I think since it's event driven, it shouldn't be too terrible for us. Hopefully I remember sending the ships over here to the Metaka system to take care of that asteroid. And I should hope that two um, frigates will be good for this. We can only build one at a time, of course. It will take some time to get over here, evidently, as is customary. We will also be repairing ourselves over time. So, we're mining drone nonsense. Yeah, well, of course, uh, direct technology has some downsides sometimes. If we can repair them, that would be great. I haven't really seen a Gorn warship anywhere, so what happened there? Did they uh, suicide themselves against the, uh, uh, against the Akamarians? That could be. The game gets really choppy now, because the engine is probably optimized, incidentally. Yeah, we know it's back here, but we can we do about this right now? Very little is the answer. Okay, there comes the Federation, I think. Explorer fleet. <laughs> okay, whatever they say. Yeah, Nimble Starbase, fantastic. Uh, yeah, what about the ships do, right? That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. And we are ready these smugglers, and we only need it. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's excellent, as a matter of fact. Because it would help us tremendously. Okay, well, that's great. That's fantastic, as a matter of fact. Okay, there is a, a frigate. Is it uh, on your own? Yeah, it's so on your own. So we need to wait for the reinforcements, of course, to do something meaningful. And there goes one ship, and this is a... I'm not sure what it is. It's a frigate. Okay, then lose the uh, cruiser, then, which is nice. Yeah, more friends we don't really care about right now. Guess I guess. Okay, the Regenians are also helping out, which is nice of them. But we need to actually uh, take the grand, uh, no, take over the majority of systems if we actually want to claim them. And most importantly, this system, if our fleets can finally get moving. Ja, yeah, der, okay, so finally. Okay, we may take a look at this, so where were they? It's an 8k fleet, and we must have a stupid fleet for that matter. Back here, okay, so I'm not going to have the means to build anything back here, but since we're moving, uh, we have to build our star bases, can uh, hold onto this onslaught. Okay, what are we looking at? We have an, a cruiser, um, way more vessels than we can actually field in terms of, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, at least this particular magnitude. We only have one cruiser right now. So we're losing intelligence, we're losing XP with the, uh, that anyone else actually help out. Okay, uh, at least it's slightly positive right now. Now, because of our two envoys, then we can convince someone else to actually send their own diplomats in here. So, how long does it take? 20 to 26. Okay, now we're moving, and where are these people moving? We don't know. Can we even send against an 8k fleet with our star bases? But even if we cannot, this is only one or two jumps away, and this is only one jump away, so we have to hope that we can get in here and get something done with the remaining colony before they do something to us, right? And otherwise, and the Andorians are helping out, and the United F government is also helping out, so it should be acceptable, I'm thinking. Hopefully so, right? And then maybe we can also merge these assault armies now. Yeah, that should be good, right? Ja, yeah, because we don't need them uh, otherwise to be do. And they, of course, they're going uh, to the last one position. And uh, as long as they don't bump into anyone, I think it should be fine. And back here, the second uh, frigate hopefully has finished production. Because it's the smallest warship we can feel. And there we go. So we can now uh, get in here and deal with the unidentified vessel. Um, well, this is, of course, the asteroid. Yeah, I don't think we'll be arriving on time. We'll be do. Taco observation post. Okay, this thing gets, uh, so, well, it's a bit too close already. Raptor, okay. Also, um, wo ist das? Okay. Klingon, okay, die Klingons, der fighting Vido. Vido, der hat Militär Access to this area, das macht keinen Sinn, frankly. Ja, it's one of those great houses, so, uh, we didn't umbauen das, we didn't by chance that we do, so. <laughs> I don't think we did, but it's actually our default policy, isn't it? So, we're actually assisting the war effort against the Romulans right now. Speak! Petak. Ja, okay. Wir freuen die in die Bordes so open war. Der take care of business for us, which is nice of them, I guess. So it could be another thing for Admiral to do, presumably. Okay, they're saving the minor race because we're unable to, because it takes way too long to get in ships over here. <laughs> so I'm not going to let the speed will be moving. I have no idea. But I do not our fleets are very slow. And no, oh man, can I be fucking serious with this? <laughs> We are so slow, man. We are going so goddamn slow. Okay, apparently we have reached the edge of the galaxy. 
Fantastic Galactic Bear, ja. Return to the Capital. Why is it more expensive than abandoning the journey? Are we? It seems a little bit up for debate here. Continuing the journey for now, I think. Because this one outdoor explorer is doing exactly that exploring stuff for us. Okay, they are jumping in here now. Well, great. Can we please uh, get the... Alien Empire has established communications. Yeah, okay. Asteroid destroyed. Thanks for that clean guns. <laughs> okay, well, it's an 8k fleet. And it's also a star base in here now, is there not? Okay, uh, well, the uh, allies are also in the system, I think, if I don't misremember. Yeah, there they are. Okay, that should be relatively manageable. And why is there anyone actually on the ground? I think the last time I checked, there wasn't anyone, except for crippling overpopulation incidentally, in case they're wondering. Yeah, so, well, um, some people have migrated away. But since it's open now, I suppose we know what, should be, yeah, what we should be doing. So, then some armies, please, immediately. And the other ships, they can catch up once they arrive, of course, since we'll be needing some reinforcements here regardless. Otherwise, it's mining opportunities and some research. Okay, so once again, I do believe uh, war score and exhaustion that we have to avoid, but of course. Yeah, okay, there's no ways off because while well, these are stubborn people, we're claiming lots of stuff, naturally. Well, as long as the fleet has been disabled with the help of our United of Government, uh, I don't think it should be too worrisome then, as a consequence. Who's shooting? Okay, they are shooting. And this, did I jump out? I think I did jump out, right? Or did it just disappear? <laughs> okay, really? That quickly? Of course, the fleet was a bit overwhelming, wasn't it? Well, that's uh, mighty nice of them, so... <laughs> okay. How oh, fine. Um, okay. This is a bit unexpected. Maybe we can split up and take care of some of the star bases, but they are too beefy. We need to claim them here regardless, don't we? Okay, this will not add to our war score, of course, you know, as a reminder, because it's claimed by someone else, so it's a different type of war exhaustion. Uh, I think the Gorn came into the system, right? Times two. Well, that's our concern right now, I think. And that would be pathetic, I'm hoping. Okay, so, well, it's, um... Yeah, 8 out of 75, that must be the two frigates incidentally back here someplace. Alrighty, so well, we need to make our way through here, these outposts, that shouldn't pose too much of a problem, at least. And then, of course, the star bases are kind of worrisome, so I guess, I guess. I have to just suck it up and take them, even though they have limited value to us right now, if we figure. So, but hopefully I can replace losses when they make themselves and, uh, evident. Otherwise, yeah, just uh, rampage through the systems and take care of everything around here. That's the only thing we can do. We don't have any other external friends right now, even though all of our military is being committed to this current area. Alright, and the other systems have been claimed. This will be claimed by the Akamarians, so... Alright, that's just something we need to do. And why is that... <laughs> why is the leader disappeared again? That's worrying. That's really worrying. Okay. Admiral, and what are your trades? I think it's repair stuff, right? So why does it keep happening to us? I'm not quite sure about this. But it's happened multiple times over. Uh, and I didn't understand any of these people incidentally, in case they're wondering. Okay, that leaves us with the fourth fleet. And the fourth fleet can use that one Admiral. You, for instance, right? Yeah, ship range, I think, so terrible. So, but there could be one on the Robin and Frontier here someplace. Maybe not a terrible idea. So, what does this uh, fleet manager say about this? Yeah, couldn't be terrible there, you know, just to uh, help out because the other ships are too far away regardless. Command limit is still relatively low. We have two patrol frigates, so anything else we can and should add here. Uh, well, we unlock the cruiser, of course, and also the deep space station, which of course is not part of the fleet. It's impossible. We have to use the constructor for this. Uh, right, but once again, it will be too pricey, but we need at least a couple of ships, don't we not? Or bit of cannon, okay. Fantastic. Ja, yeah, by the way, if I were to use the ship designer to add more weapons and subsystems, the ships would also be extremely expensive for us. So, <laughs> okay, that's all we can finance, I would presume. Right now, at least. Oh, why, there's not a great fleet, and that's not a terrible, and we cannot reinforce too many ships here anyway, so a couple of frigates. And once again, it's all we get, a couple of frigates, right, incidentally. Of course, we have to also pay upkeep for them, so why, we cannot be too greedy. We cannot be too greedy, as you can see, multiple times over. Hopefully we're landing troops right, that would be great. Yeah, there we go. That should be the last population center of the entire Gorn hegemony anyway, so it gives, I guess. Saurians seem to be relatively militaristic from what I can see. <laughs> I should hope we have claimed the entire system now. Indeed we have. 
Okay, what else is there to do? I don't see any other uh, colonies of theirs. We have uh, conquered it all. Well, it is occupied them. Under attack. Yeah, okay, where is it under attack door? Um, BD. I'm going to why they have uh, these leads in here, but since they have control of the star base, you should be able to shoot them, right? Yeah, more drones. Keep us posted, please. Thank you very much. Okay, it's a science ship and some... Uh, I'm not going to show how they can even uh, get any troop transports in the system any longer because we occupy uh, the systems, do we not? Yeah, it's just a mining outpost. Under attack. Yeah, okay, uh... Okay, this is the fight we can go on here, presumably, right? I would figure. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hopefully we can take this. The Duckworth is a strange name for system, incidentally. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Maybe just coincidental. It means something else entirely. I'm not sure. Technology, I don't think the uh, Gorns had any chance, frankly. Uh, research build speed, and mining station build speed, okay, that's interesting, but I want some additional old, uh, yeah, post, you know, and also some output incident there. Yeah, that's probably more important to us right now. So there's nothing to do for you right now, but figure. Okay, and they're claiming this for us because they are part of the same war incident, which is nice of them. So we don't actually have to take care of the systems of these beefy star bases. So they're just going through here with their 40k fleet. I think I take it. <laughs> well, thanks for that, allies. Thanks for that, indeed, my friends. So we can modify these orders then, presumably. Dark a type of name is that anyway? Yeah, otherwise they have nothing remaining, it's only mining colonies, but we have to take uh, care of every single little bit. Every single little bit, otherwise uh, uh, we cannot uh, force them to the negotiation table as is customary. And by then we have to take care of the star bases, then presumably. And that's not our concern, I would figure. And otherwise I only see this system. So maybe we can still go for that, and otherwise I think we will be occupying every single holding they hold there now, indeed, my friends. Well, it's okay, the, I think the outcome was never in question, wasn't it? I don't think it was. And please emerge as an order here too. That would be slow. Yeah, okay, we need to fix some problems again, evidently, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, for, okay, host the fleet. <laughs> what? Like, seriously? I think they walked away, didn't they? Well, fantastic. Get in here and they reclaim the system. Man, unbelievable. Of course, you don't have the fleets to actually do all of these things at the same time. It's impossible. You don't have the means for this. Mission log updated. I think it's an... Yeah. Okay, our well, star base will be lost now because well, our fleets are away. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no way, there's no way, but they need to get some troops in here to reclaim the system. Why don't you get these fucking ships over here again? Mm -hmm. Okay, that will of course impact the war score, as you would think. Well, that's what we get. Hopefully we can at least catch these fleets while they're still uh, combating the star base. That would be great. I don't think the star base will last that long. Yeah, what would we do without the United of Government? And they are of course claiming now the system, so that will be... So, that... Das so mean, of course, ich, oh no, als two wars going at the same time, we're competing, of course, since it's... <laughs> okay, they actually take the star base, interestingly enough. Yeah, the problem is, of course, they're competing with us against taking all the systems, so we can never enforce our claim, because if they take care of the systems, then we cannot, you know, that's the problem. Under attack. So, fantastic. Okay, what was that? Oh, we did. There was something we could still survey. Let me guess a system we cannot claim. I would think at least. And uh, it's right over here. Why? That could be interesting. But I don't think there's any point to that, frankly. What I want is this system traded for the other one, but the people stubbornly refuse to even consider that, even though it's a superior trade. Because it's the better system, incidentally. Okay, I'm not quite sure where the fleet was. I have no idea, but of course our intelligence isn't exactly perfect, is it, though? So, we have 50% war exhaustion, and they have 21 once again, I call him bullshit on this uh, particular area. Okay, acceptance is not very good. Yeah, why is our war exhaustion so outrageous once again? Why is there so low, incidentally? I don't understand that, frankly. But once again, the mechanics in this game, sometimes they are a mystery to me. Ja, okay, fantastic. Decided enemy. Ah, oh, I don't want to have anything to do with this, frankly. No, we don't want the confrontation. Ja, aber nicht against the research of the day. Okay, that's a fucking stupid uh, 8k fleet here just walks in form. If, if nothing's going to happen. And war extortion is increasing, even though we have a minus 25% modify as a reminder. So, can we maybe catch this fleet? 
Of course, this damage is been severely damaged, which should be not be too hard to take it out. I'm hoping. Yeah, please catch these uh, fleets before they get away. That would be slow. I don't think they have another fleet right now. I don't think they can finance that, can they not? Okay, minus 200. So we have, uh, by the way, as a reminder, we have uh, ground troops everywhere. Essentially, every single um, plant has been occupied. Every single colony. The only thing they have remaining is the mining shit. <laughs> okay, please bite their nose. That would be great. Or take them out or anything in between. And yeah, of course we lose the ship from this because they have cruisers and we have mostly frigates. So it's hardly idea. But overall, we should have superior numbers Space at least. Under attack. Yeah, there we go. And we have to take the star base again, of course. Okay, but that should be all of their goddamn fleets, right? And we also earn some experience for our trouble. The tricks that trade, wow, I like that. Yeah, some of our ships are damaged, yeah, but what can we do? And that puts more exhaustion uh, on equal terms for a change, which is nice. Okay, so, but it shouldn't be another fleet, I think at least. So then we have to go back here and uh, it's too late already. We can't enforce our war goals because these fucking people declared war on them before we did. And one month, right? Isn't that fantastic? So we, there's no way we can get here over here. Absolutely no way. So well then, uh, this is a back to star base now. Well, fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure how they had the means to upgrade this. So once again, we can't enforce our claims. And this is actually a 15k star base. Okay. So what else does it take? We cannot claim more systems or take them over wide. Okay, well, then we have to just suck it up, I guess, and bash our head against that star base, probably. <laughs> no thanks for that Akamarians, but of course the Gordon declared war on them. And of course it was one month, it was... Why? Once again, because he died? But I think it was part of the escape post, wasn't he? Also, okay, he became unassigned, but presumed, well, isn't that a delight? So that's what happens here. Okay, now I understand. And what's the total tally? It's uh, pathetic. So we can't even take care of a Mark to star base with our frigates. Well, isn't that lovely? And uh, guess what? We have no alloys to reinforce anything. Well, fantastic indeed, my friends. Great, lovely. That's a great mechanic, isn't it? Fully occupied. Everything is fully occupied. So what gives, I guess? Yeah, they will just uh, walk through the rest of the systems. And they will probably claim some of the stuff we want to claim for that matter. Because they have probably put in their own uh, war goals, I would figure. So, okay, what can we do about this? They are finished, incidentally. They are finished. Cannot just uh, rely on attrition, right? Yeah, so, okay. Um, I don't uh, feel particularly confident in this war system in this game because it has been signed specifically to avoid and also prevent a complete and utter subjugation of uh, one enemy during one particular war, even though you could have the massive economy and you know, all these ships and so on and so forth uh, staying power of years and years, even decades of warfare. But of course, the game prevents you of doing this and then you also get a truce forced upon you. And there's no way to break the truce from what I remember. There's absolutely nothing you can do. You have to sit around for 10 years, sometimes 12 years. Uh, and in this case, would be taking care of some of these systems and then what? What can they do with that here? They have an Arctus Starbase and otherwise it's only binding. They have maybe one ship, yeah, but how can they staff them without any dudes, you know? So, uh, I call bullshit on that mechanic. So we have to go to war with them four times, maybe just to take care of everything, even though these people are finished, uh, frankly speaking. So I'm not sure what else they could be doing. Uh, should some uh, science ships in here? I mean, this doesn't give us anything, does it do? Now this Federation uh, or the United Earth was uh, kind enough to help out here, which is nice of them. And now we also have an Arctic Star Base in here, which means it's nothing we can take, because it's going to be super beefy. And very beefy that we can take care of, of course. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no way we can take this out with our fleet. They will probably get completely decimated, because they have no staying power. These are mostly just frigates, of course. So, well, the United Earth government has to take it for us, presumably. We cannot get here, we cannot get there, I think. It's also an Arctic Star Base. Yeah, okay, so um, the war has already come to an end, essentially, because we cannot proceed any further. We're occupying all of the systems as a reminder. All of their planets, all of their colonies, every single little bit has been under occupation for almost an entire in-game year. Yeah, really lovely game mechanic, right? Okay, so all I'm going to take uh, another year just to get here. Now, maybe they will be stupid enough to bump uh, into one of the star bases, so what gives I guess? We cannot take care of these systems, you know. It's impossible because it's a different war, technically speaking. So, well, of course, get was. <laughs> ah, of course, guys, but they claimed, they claimed uh, the system, of course. 
Okay. Good. That's that's excellent. I really love this. I really love this. Now it's in within Akamarian space and it's <laughs> Good. Wow, at least we can now take some systems, I guess. Oh, it's a fantastic game. We can I guess uh, that's uh, what they left for us on the cards. Of course they did. Wow, how nice of them. Well, 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 fantastic. Well, at least uh, we can maybe finish that war here in some way under them. Of course, there's no way we can take care of him up to Starbase. That's unfortunately not possible. And the, what, the Gorn claimed that? Are you fucking kidding me? They let him claim that? What happened with the, uh, with the exclave of the Akamarians? Really? Why did they piece out oh, the upper hand? What is the I doing in this game? What is the I doing in this game? Nothing smart is the answer here, possibly. Well, maybe there's some time to spare. Maybe we have some influence. We can claim some additional systems, then, presumably. So the war isn't all for nothing. Yeah, really, they gave away the systems. I did see that correctly. Why? Why would they ever do this? Why would they ever conceivably do this? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> the Ides gave us so many good and problems. Yeah, they really let them claim two of these systems. Why? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make an ounce of sense, incidentally. And even a tiny bit, okay. So maybe we can uh, still lay down some uh, claims here. So the war wasn't, you know, uh, just a complete waste of our time, incidentally. Okay, so well, um, well, we cannot make any claims, I would figure. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> sure, they put 10. <laughs> okay, great. Of course, uh, that's lovely. Tja, of course, the rival once again. Okay, well, uh, can we claim something else? That would be swell, right? Yeah, what is Richard Mineros, for instance? That would I would figure. I would uh, take all of our, uh, maybe not quite. Okay, that will of course also increase the war score. <laughs> and hence the requirements. But I think, yeah, this war shouldn't be for nothing. So we just make these claims and uh, try to do something here. Yeah, I want to absolutely decimate these people because they are afraid to get the peace, of course. Maybe they will give us a system, but we, yeah, we cannot take care of a mark to star base. It's impossible. And of course, they claim the systems here in Green the Colony. Unbelievable. And I went in there with my... <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just ridiculous, I'm sorry. Okay, so well, hopefully I didn't screw myself over here, but I suppose that gives, I guess. We'll find out eventually, and then I have to get more alloys to get some reinforcements for our fleets, right? I would figure. If we can even pull this off, and I mean, they will be repaired over time, but only slowly. Over the full strength, okay. Let me guess. We, oh, of course, we are in transit, so we cannot right now, I would figure. It doesn't tell you, of course, because why would this be important? Why would this be important indeed, my friends? Okay, a strip upkeep minus 50% could be a good idea. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a bit war mechanic bullshit back here. <laughs> if you have the military advantage, you should be able to press your advantage and uh, take care of the entire fucking nation, you know. Yeah, the entire nation, incidentally. There should be absolutely no excuse for that. Absolutely nothing. And we have higher war exhaustion than they do. Even though they just lost the war against the Akamarians. The war they actually declared, yeah. That seems sensible. Unbelievable, this bullshit back here. <laughs> Spaceport oh. under attack. Okay, so what did they claim? The Romanist Empire is humiliated. Okay. <laughs> At least they didn't lose any systems, right? Okay, hopefully there's something we can do. Go on, Starbase. Yeah, okay. What? 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 How? What? How? We destroyed that stupid fleet. Why is there another fleet back here suddenly? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what? Did they come from the system here someplace? I mean, I, I'm getting fucking tired of this bullshit here. So we were losing this war because uh, they're... How? Once again, how? We destroyed this fucking fleet. We destroyed this fucking fleet. How can this keep happening to us? We cannot move any more fleets in here. We don't have the military capabilities. We cannot even finance the shit we have right now. It's bullshit. I don't care about some mining drones. Get this fucking spamming out of here. Okay, they're helping out, I guess. That's nice of them. So, they will add to the war score, of course, unsurprisingly. But don't forget, some destroyers. Great. But that's enough. You come back here, of course. So, where was the fleet coming from? There was no fucking fleet in here. Fucking bullshit. There was no fleet. They can't even fear the fucking fleet. We occupied all of their systems. And then some. That's stupid, man. Under attack. Yeah, we'll be losing it because it takes us 10 years to get over here. 
Okay, and Void Exhaustion is 62% on both sides, and we still need to claim all these systems. But if the fleet is so elusive here as anything, that makes it super annoying, you know? Okay, fully occupied by the Vulcan High Command, at least that's something we can hold on to. Can we please finally move there? And then back here, because our ships are super slow. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get in here! Take care of these fucking fleets already! Unbelievable. Vidi, uh, the Vidi, the Vidi gets underneath my skin here. I'm sorry. The stupid uh, exhaustion Please mechanic. Under attack. Yeah, we have to keep watching this and watching this and watching this some more every single time because the void exhaustion mechanic is just bullshit. It's probably the most uh, unenjoyable uh, portion about Stellaris. I yeah, I don't care. Get this shit out of here. I don't care. <laughs> Take care of these systems finally. And these fucking ships here, incidentally. That would be great. I don't care. Get out of here. What? <laughs> No! For fuck's sake! No! Get over here! Hunt down these stupid ships, man! What else does it take? It's the fully occupied, so they actually ignore the star base. You know, like the smart things that they are. Okay, so I did uh, put some reinforcements in here, I think. Yeah, indeed I did. But it's not going to be good enough anyway to stop a fleet, but at least keeps them busy for now, I'm thinking. Unbelievable! We still need to check the systems before we run out of war exhaustion, incidentally. Okay, so it's a uh, 6k fleet that came out of nowhere again. And I would presume they're heading to their old colonies, which would be this system, even though I can't see the star lane. So I'm a little bit clueless as to what's going on. Okay, 3k fleet. We do have a friends in here, of course. Okay, why can we dispatch at least the Sambo to take care of these outposts? Sambo is not essential, right? Maybe the weakest fleet. Yeah, what is that? I think it's uh, only cruiser, right? Yeah, we, no, we cannot, we cannot just sit around, we cannot just sit around, we cannot just sit around. That's not going to happen, we have to take some of the systems, it's super important. Otherwise, we can never win this war. And the other star bases we have to wait until later, right? This also needs to be occupied, I think. Yeah, there we go. And the others need to wait for the opportunity to take care of some of the star bases. Did we not take care of the star base? I don't think we did, right, incidentally. No, I don't think we did. Even though we were in the system, of course. Apparently, we ignored the starbase because we were just jumping through. Okay, these friends are helping out now, which is nice of them. So, it doesn't mean we can take care of them finally. Hostile station engaged. Military station lost. <laughs> <laughs> Peace over, I don't care right now, but of course, we'll probably put in some research. Okay, some additional research, obviously, a good idea. Okay, so anomaly research speed, I don't think it's that important. But since it's an old technology, we should get out of the way because it will lead to foot advancements, okay? It's plus 50, we need this uh, pressy press in the run. Okay, so the fucking fleet. It's still a fucking 5k fleet. And they jumped to the wrong system. Are we jumping now? Are we going after them? We aren't, of course, right? We are jumping, aren't we? When we will be arriving? In one year or next year here. Wow, lovely. So, okay. <laughs> okay. And we left the station behind here. For whatever reason. Why did we do this? Okay, get in here. Take care of that, please. We take care of the star base because more exhaustion is already 66%. Okay, now we're jumping, now we're supporting. And finally, we can take care of that fleet once and for all. Yes, that would be great. And I piece over. Okay, I think these are people to our space left here immediately. This is stupid. Okay, game mechanics here. I'm sorry. It's been starting to add up a little bit, does it not? Okay, Starship variant specialization. Has established communications. Okay, what's going on now? What's the problem? These fucking drones again. I don't care about these drones. It's some mining drones. I make them super complicated, you know? Okay, so but we have to read over this because it's particularly important, I would figure. So go for some torpedoes so we can upgrade our ships, incidentally. Okay, the fleet has been blasted finally for the last time. They're finally all dead. I should hope they are, right? Okay, no, uh, they retreated. So, okay, ah, of course, another mechanic. If ships are forced to retreat, if they jump out, they are unavailable for multiple years, but we also cannot see them on sensors, which is why they just uh, appear out of nowhere. Well, that's an excellent game mechanic. They have to do this to myself, so that means we have to hunt down this fleet once again a couple of times, and they also blasted all of our uh, fighters, apparently. There wasn't any delay, right? At least they can be replaced automatically. I'm hoping. Okay, the fleet has jumped out, which means we have to deal with these uh, idiots again, I would figure. Alright, so we're retaking this. Aren't this occupied, but also isn't, VD? Because it's part of our war, I would figure. It doesn't make any sense, frankly. Okay, so then I'll take a look see at this event here, if nothing else. Alien Pirates, apparently. Now uh, we could gain some um, unity from this or influence, I would figure. 
Yeah, what's more important? I think maybe engineering research could be a good idea. Oh, some pirates make them such a nuisance, I guess. Okay, so then we turn the tables on them. I would figure that's a funny idea. Okay, the fleet has, of course, just... <laughs> Let them fly, okay. Oh, right, so we reprogram the IFF codes. That's a smart thing to do, I dare say. Okay, oh, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. And where is it, of course, on the Planet of Galactic Peace? Remen equals status rejected. Oh, alright, okay, uh, the Remans, they are the second class citizens. I think they are mostly slaves working in the mines and industrial complexes in the Romanister Empire. Okay, interesting. Apparently, they don't want to give them citizenship, I would figure. Okay, so, but, um, what's going on now? Of course, we have a plague, which means I have to set aside even more uh, supplies we don't have right now. Isn't that lovely? Okay, well, there's nothing to do except to hope that the button will be clickable eventually, because at the moment it's not. I'm clicking very hard. I'm clicking very... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So it only took 20 or 30 clicks to make this happen. So the interface is also buggy, incidentally, right? Even when the game is paused. Alright, so, um, fantastic. It was the voice is 70 versus, uh, 78, I think it says back here. So we can now press our vocals. Okay, that's a delight. Finally, should we do this? Or should we just, um, or can we claim anything else? Because we're on a roll. Our ships are moving back here. We are taking over some of these outposts. And I really want, uh, this war to be worth something, you know? Maybe we should have gone with the other, uh, uh, with the other option <laughs> eventually. <laughs> okay, um, this is claimed by the Vulcan Eye Command. This is also claimed by the Vulcan Eye Command, I think. Yeah, okay, well, maybe this uh, mining system could be a good idea. Otherwise, what do they have remaining? Nothing, really. We're lacking a free influence right now. <laughs> now it would be a nice starbase, but we don't need an, a starbase on this uh, border, do we do? But claiming it is easier than taking it, I would figure. Yeah, I'm just super greedy right now because the war should be for something at least and uh, achieving four additional war goals uh, should not be a problem. Especially once we take care of this outpost here, this heavily damaged one incidentally. Okay, and you can now come back here, I presume. No, it was a pricey war, but what can we do about this? Very the door. Yeah, I think we'll be getting at least some of that stuff here, I would think. Yeah, so we have to rebuild them, but they'll be rebuilt automatically. Apparently, they are uh, not rebuilt automatically. And apparently, we have another... No, it's a shift in someone else's government in this case, I don't care. Yeah, they don't come back automatically, are they, though? Doesn't look like they part. It's still a concern, especially with the supply consumption and all. So, uh, did we take care of this? Finally, did we did, but it's a delight. Okay, so I think we can press our uh, claims here eventually, I would figure. Oh, best possible outcome, so they surrendered, I think, maybe. I sure hope they did, because... <laughs> okay, I've paused this year, really. thank you very much. I think we got everything we wanted, and they gone, they have... A, oh, BD, they just disappeared entirely. So we just decimated the entire empire, because they have no uh, claims remaining, no inhabited systems, I think. And we also got this, we took it away from the Akamarians, really, that's nice, I think. Okay, so we have now full control of the Gorn Empire, or whatever remains of it back here, it's unclaimed but fully surveyed. Really? Okay, well, uh, you know what's going to happen, I'll never be erased. Yeah, okay, it's the first time I've ever seen this, incidentally. <laughs> okay, look at the, look at the messages back here. Okay, we don't care about this, incidentally, do we do? We have won the war and we destroyed the entire Gorn Empire, apparently. Alright, that's interesting. And then, uh, wow, that was inevitable, wasn't it? Okay, well, it was an expensive war, but we did take care of something. And, of course, now we have multiple problems on multiple planets, and we have to figure out all of this all at the same time. Okay, so, um, we also want to claim the systems right before someone else does. So, if this is fully surveyed, that means it's probably fully surveyed to everyone around here. And look at the minerals back here. We absolutely want that. Uh, do we have a shipyard? Maybe? Um, I don't think so, right? Anything, because, uh, well, the other constructors are over here someplace. That would take too long to arrive, and even if we do, uh, it takes too many alloys to probably build a starbase, I would figure. Okay, and what happened with the... they just disappeared entirely, these claims, I think. Okay, uh, we got this for uh, intelligence gathering, I believe. Okay, it's plenty of minerals we need, very pressing, so we have to close the starbase. Oh, this could be yeah, we have one here, right? Okay, give us a constructor, maybe, it takes 60 seconds. Just two constructors, please. Okay, so the, hopefully they can be on the merry way. And because it's the closest shipyard, I believe. Oh, well, that was a very uh, good war for us, I suppose. Probably. Uh, trade routes, I think uh, we have to do this ourselves, apparently. But isn't it lovely? 
Okay, well, I like the outcome. That's pretty good. And that really does the babe of the entire go on hegemony forever, I would figure. Otherwise, well, they could maybe rebel, but still. I don't think it's going to happen. Not that I can do anything about that. <laughs> okay, so all of our traitors are now connected, I believe. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Even through here, because it's friendly space, so we don't have to worry about this angle at least. Okay, but it's excellent as a matter of fact. We should hope we solve some problems. I really need to get the systems before someone else does, because they are probably have a couple of constructors and too far away, I would figure. So the entire Gold Empire just collapsed on us, essentially. Okay, interesting. Okay, so um, I think I would just put some of these systems on automation then, I would figure. So keep, uh, um, yeah, we also need to set up some of these then, of course. So uh, three new planets with rebellion, and uh, I thought, at least looking at the planets for the last time, uh, they had cryptic overpopulation and no amenities, as you would think. Go on station, okay. Oof, that was interesting, and back here it's also now unclaimed. Right, okay, if only had the constructors a little bit closer to the front line, of course we don't. Yeah, I can't ask for much more, I would think. Okay, so well, that puts us in pretty good position. <laughs> I don't think we can ever challenge the Romulans in any capacity whatsoever, but if we cannot reunify for events, then we just uh, well, uh, assume victory, I suppose, because other than uh, forming the Federation, finally, there's nothing else to do, but it would be a fitting end to this the run of ours, I would think. Okay, well, I mean, what else is there to do? Are we going to war with the King of Empire? This is a major race, and we are minor race, and we're not supposed to take over major races in this uh, yeah, particular scenario, I do remember at least. For the glory of the Empire! Yeah, they're still superior, because well, our military might isn't exactly all that impressive right now, is it though? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's that's kind of funny, but I don't think we'll be getting the systems, because unless we can put an uh, outpost in here, we just don't get them, you know? So that's a problem. Uh, maybe order another constructor, we can scrap them later on, of course. Okay, that was a pretty good war here. Have a good war and all right. Okay, so three constructors. <laughs> all right, we try that in 60 seconds, I think. Hopefully so. Yeah, build time is 60 seconds, which is a quite long time here, because we have to actually travel to the systems, right? Okay, so then we set up uh, some governors and uh, some other areas, and also send the ships back to their home port, I would figure. So they can get repaired and reinforced, for instance. Okay, um, well, military presence doesn't change the outcome that we have to come in here with a constructor to do anything. Maybe, um, yeah, there's no threat back here, absolutely no threat, because all the people around us are friendly. The area over here is very so we just uh, return home. Yeah, we return home and get ourselves repaired. That's not a terrible idea. Yeah, I think we should probably change the home base, even though it's a pretty uh, decent uh, crew quarters opportunity back here. Yeah, but we need to do is probably go on the border here somewhere. Yeah, because the Klingons there will be very some we need to support the Andorians. Maybe also station a fleet at Nimbus. Oh, that's maybe a food for fun, actually. Okay, we said uh, Nimbus 3 as the home base. Yeah, outputs of Galactic Peace, there we go. That will be in your home base, and you just uh, return home indeed now, my friends. Uh, why does the first fleet taken care of? Second fleet. Uh, second fleet for station where exactly? Okay, and Orion, that could be sensible, so just in case uh, we need this air area to be defended in some way or another. And third fleet uh, can be stationed where exactly? Uh, on the Adorian border, I would figure. So that will be your new home base, then presumably. Yeah, indeed, we'll be in the home base, and once we have the opportunity, we also upgrade the ships, incidentally. Okay, maybe we can step in some crew quarters for the maintenance cost reduction, but at the moment it's not that, uh, all that impressive, is it or unnecessary for that matter. Uh, the ships, they cannot be reinforced right now, because you guess what, we're lacking in alloys. <laughs> okay, uh, we need to create a new uh, sector, of course, and this will be the Gorn sector, but presume. And go now here, incidentally. Okay, this place is probably a trash. Minus 21 uh, amenities right now. Okay, but for now we need to create, of course, a new sector, and also send in some governors. But in the sector, but I want to create the sector incidentally, so if I can, I know it. What do you mean it needs to be five jumps away? Because it's over here somewhere. Why do we make this area the uh, new capital, I presume? Alright, so it's the uh, yeah, edit sector, please do it from here. And it should be including most of these systems automatically. Indeed, it does. But that's lovely. Yeah, I guess it can be part of that because it's a part of the former Gorn realm, of course. And then the other systems will be added automatically, I'm hoping. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. So we're actually competing with each other, as it seems right now, with our sector layout. Oh, whatever, we need the governor, of course, and also rename the sector to something a little more sensible. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so we need to set the governor, uh, unfortunately so. We can create a vessel, but uh, maybe direct control would be a good idea. So it will be the Goron sector. Yeah, we need to figure out what we can do about these um, planets back here. Maybe land some troops, for instance. Couldn't be a terrible idea. Okay, I don't think there's anyone idling. No, everyone is busy, but we can certainly hire some new people. Maybe even put a Goron in charge. Is there anything that would give us uh, happiness or anything in between? Uh, overpopulation will be solving itself because we have the performance mode enabled, of course. Soldier production, uh, output, decision, course, no, not really important. But I think energy credits are always of a concern, aren't they? Okay, so we will be the governor of the sector, and maybe we can also put in a specific governor for the former Gorn uh, room world, because that would be terrible. Yeah, this part of the Orion sector, I guess it's fine. Yeah, 6% stability. Okay, so well, great, fantastic. So at least another planet uh, worthy of investigation then. <laughs> okay, we figured out what we need to do back here. At least as you can see, with stability at all. So this is something. Okay, it's no longer the Empire Capital, now it's just a regular home world, of course, an open world for that matter. So what's the problem? Amenities. Okay, what we need to do is probably put in some distributed luxury goods, you know. In those pricey, but otherwise we can't take care of business. Yeah, I think we have crippling more population because it's a housing shortage. Well, we can take a look at this. So, one city and then we need to get in the uh, policing system is, if it hasn't been done already. Militia Academy. Okay, Regional Academy. All handy dandy. Rehabilitation Center. Well, of course, it's a good one. So, I guess. I guess. So, a policing system, I don't see it. So, we put it in here somewhere. Uh, maybe it has been set on already because I'm not too familiar with all these buildings, of course. The mining network all handy dandy. I think they already have it, have they not? Otherwise, I could build it, presumably. Okay, they have a free, so we make it a priority. So, okay, free people, and it's all gone right now. <laughs> oh, but that should be good. Crime is, of course, not very good right now because it's overpopulation, and we just conquered the entire system. Available jobs, I suppose we can put an automation then and see what they want to do. But uh, this being a home system, I think we should probably take care of uh, things ourselves. Okay, two commercial districts, and then we also need some industry on Gorna, I would figure. Yeah, it's probably not a terrible idea. Yeah, well, it would be a temporary uh, slowdown, but I think it would not be too terrible in the long run, because it promises to be a relatively uh, productive system if somewhat unruly. <laughs> okay, we can also give them a tempo to pray. Uh, there are various away, also an option, maybe. Maybe? I'm not sure. Trading center could be a good idea. We also need a trade depot in orbit someplace. Now, any particular specialization? Geothermal power station, okay. Yeah, they don't have it yet, which is interesting. Okay, well, that gives them something to do, something else to take their mind off uh, things. <laughs> the entertainment center also. Okay, one upkeep, I think we can maybe finance that, and that's all we can do for this area for now, I'm thinking. Maybe a proper governor would be a good idea, also not too insulting. We can certainly recruit this guy, maybe. Okay, is he loyal? What do you think? I don't think he will be that loyal, but I suppose what can we do right now? Very little is the answer. Yes, we can resettle some guys, but we don't need to do this right now, of course. And at least us with the nearby colony. I think do have two colonies in here. Hmm, fantastic. Well, this is the home system. It does make sense when you think about it. It was the tiny moon in orbit around that gas giant, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, what's the problem also? Crime is a little bit high. They have a fusion reactor, a civilian, and a lithium mine, and, but they don't have a policing system. No, they have a frontier hospital. Yeah, policing system, there we go. And then also frontier hospital, because we want to keep these uh, new citizens of ours um, yeah, happy. And as a reminder, everyone, no matter uh, where they come from, they have full citizenship rights in our colony. Amenities are terrible right now. Okay, let me put in an uh, entertainment center, maybe. Otherwise, what else could be useful? What else can we specialize in here? So, the lithium caverns. Trillium mines resort location in some <laughs> iconic gateways. Okay. Well, why did then? Will expire in five years or something. They set down. I don't think we can import luxuries everywhere. That seems a bit too pricey for us. Okay, there's also a housing shortage. Of course, there would be. Because there's overpopulation, I would figure. Okay, that should be good enough for pooping. And then we have to wait and see because it's a tiny colony and I cannot spare too many resources right now. And the auto constructor should be working overtime because we have plenty of mining opportunities. Yeah, okay, this is uh, a Camerian. This is our system, I would figure. But that's good. So anything else? Young World, habitability is minus 5%. Immigration pool has been set to 100. And they also have, well, at least they have some housing. But no amenities to speak of. 
Yeah, ja, oh, weil ich fantastisch. Let's just see what we can do here to fix our little problem. So, first things first, we go for the entertainment center, then the frontier hospital and the policing system. I don't think we have to worry about going to war with the Akamarians anytime soon, so I guess I guess. So, anything we can specialize. Then a few mines, I suppose they already have that. Oh, but they don't really. But we can always try to evade the lithium, that's always a good idea. Gives us plenty of money, so fighting for these lithium um, mineable vaults is always a cause and worth fighting for. Same goes for Tradium Mines, I would figure. If we know what it is already, we may not. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it right. Okay, but I guess I guess. Yeah, they have a crippling shortage, so maybe uh, putting in another civilian thing would eventually be uh, decent here. Maybe. Okay, we try that. Bunker Network, we need to reinforce all of the shit and then some. Yeah, so it's probably 100 uh, gone, right? Because they don't take any immigrants, incidentally. Maybe also prioritize some policing once you have the opportunity. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible, and that these are some of this planet, which has uh, what exactly available. So only the Super Collider, they have a heroic landmark on the ground that gives us some unity, I believe. But they have a frontier hospital, indeed, which is something. Alright, uh, we need a policing system, evidently, to keep these uh, these people <laughs> in check um, for the most part. The policing system, then we have a shortage of, I think we need to worry about our supply and go. Maybe also recruit some Gorn soldiers, uh, but I guess what we don't have right now is additional minerals, so we can only do so much at the same time. Housing also needs to be improved, but we cannot because we don't have any minerals. So back to the market is for us. So what can we spare? So all the latinum and most of it. I think minerals aren't too pricey. So that should fix at least some problems. Okay, we need some um, cities, districts, if you don't mind. Also some industry, I would presume, to fix some of our crippling shortages uh, as is customary for us, of course. Alright, right, let's see planets take care of for now, and it will be at least the one rebellion I can already tell it, frankly. Yeah, so okay, let's see about our new acquisitions. Uh, we probably don't need all the star bases, and they probably will be heavily fortified, which is why they will be super pricey to maintain, I would figure. So okay, let's just start with the bottom ones, so what's on the ground. Um, Naval Depot is good, they have an orbital hospital and crew quarters. So we could theoretically station a fleet here if we want to. Um, this is a super pricey star base, but we don't know about the intentions of the Cardassian Union, for instance, but I don't believe the uh, Edosians will be going to war with us, essentially, so this could be downgraded, for instance. Uh, maybe. Obviously, about these things here, also a good idea, because we need some naval capacity, for instance. Okay, the center computer core is not really necessary, I think, just scrap it, frankly. Even though we don't get any materials back, of course. Yeah, this is the price we cannot afford any of this here right now. Yeah, it's okay, and, but it's not a terrible idea. We can use uh, this for uh, secondary stuff, of course. Torpedo launcher battery, how fancy. Yeah, we don't need that shit to be done. It's too pricey for us, so let's just uh, scrap it for now. Yeah, it's like five energy credits here, you know. This may not be that pricey as one. I suppose it couldn't be terrible idea, but we also need some additional shipyards, but most importantly, we need some enable depots right now, so let's just put them in here, please. Also some energy credits, so downgrading these star bases probably is not necessary. Maybe swap out some of these things, but they are mostly defensive in nature or economical for that matter. So go on, uh, what's up with Gorn? So they have a couple of shipyards back here that can stay as much, I think that's fine. Otherwise we're lacking in, you guess what Ando is. <laughs> Okay, naval depots, and they have a naval logistics center, which requires the two of these to start out with, I believe. Okay, so terrible. Now just a matter uh, of claiming some of these systems over here before someone else does, of course. So keep a close eye on the construction ships popping up back here. Yeah, I don't care about interfering with the election right now. They can do whatever. I can already see these uh, construction ships moving, I would figure. <sighs> How long will it take? Too long. We don't know about the orders, but we do know about the orders, don't we? Okay, I don't care. What is it, Andoria? Okay, but this case could be important. Okay, fantastic. Um, we also want to get these people into the coalition, so maybe we can try to offer them an association status. They are friendly. Invite to coalition. That would be a good idea, especially against Kalesian aggression, right? So for now... Okay, they already have association status, but still uh, independent, aren't they? So they indeed they are, but we can invite them to the coalition and see what they want to do. And if the other people will actually want to vote for this or not, because we can use some friends on this side of the border. Okay, so... Okay, but hopefully these things will get over here. And we also want to dispatch a ship, so what type of operation are we looking at? Is it scientific or is it uh, military stuff? 
the chase, of course. Um, I think if someone is on that automatic DM. Okay, we can dispatch the ability of vessels. We have not a terrible idea. Hopefully, it will end well because we want to maintain good relations with the Andorians, do we not? You're heading over here anyway, I would figure. Yeah, and then head home. I think we can queue this up, maybe. If you hold down shift. Yeah, we can hold down shift, right? Okay, so it works relatively decently. I think it's fine. Archaeological dig site is still available, so many things to do here all at the same time, but I'm mostly interested in getting these constructors finally. Okay, this one constructor immediately post the game and sent it on its merry way. Okay, we have two dry dogs and two shipyards. Okay, I think there will be a script eventually, but for now, just select the ship here, please. And then we claim uh, the things we can claim. Well, <laughs> it's just fucking bullshit, right? Okay. What do you mean? We don't have any influence for that because I gave it all away and now as you can see we have crippling shortages all across the board so I need to... Okay, uh, what do I do about this then? Move there at least? Okay, well it's too pricey. I don't think we can gain influence that quickly, you know? Okay, fantastic. So we need all these minerals. We need all these minerals and then we also need some of the other minerals but of course at the moment as you can see it's difficult. Because if no influence to spare, okay, we'll move here and at least we can get over here and do that, yeah, right? Okay, this is a goner now because we already know they're building a fucking star base and they'll come over here and build even more star bases and we don't have enough influence to build a single one, so what's so pricey? Okay, well, hopefully by the time we get over here we can do at least some of that stuff. I voted yes, right? Okay, hopefully they will also uh, uh, consider this proposal at least. Okay, so it's not allies, now we're lacking in influence of all things. So this opportunity will slip through our fingers. Empire has established communications. Uh, Nobody's reading. This could be interesting. Apparently they're interested. Now it's just a matter of what our friends are doing. Yeah, I know we have crippling shortages of all sorts and types, right? Of course we do, we always do. <laughs> oh, buddy, so uh, fantastic, the outbreak is still ongoing, so we have to pay for our losses again for this quotation mark situation. Signs of battle. Rayford Expedition, maybe you should get another science ship to set an automatic uh, anomaly research or whatever, could be a good idea, frankly. No mind, so our ships are moving, and how long will it take until we have enough influence to actually build a star base? Multiple star bases. Oh, but actually they didn't, really. Well, oh, um, what's in here then, incidentally? We have the tools, uh, physics research, and whatever that may be. I don't remember, but it's not important, but it's important to this system in particular. So hopefully we can do this. No, cannot. Why is it so pricey? Because too far away from our home system. Uh, maybe, I'm not quite sure how this works, frankly. Okay, so what's the problem? What are we losing? Uh, plenty of things. Okay, a revolt has not uh, broken out yet, which is nice. Idling leaders who's idling a governor. Oh, okay, well, we can find something to do. That's not a problem. Yeah, that's a proper governor, of course. What's a proper governor? Well, what is comes from nerves? I'm not quite sure. Depends on your traits, there, lady. Okay, uh, we have a new administrator party, which means we also need to take a look at our government. So, head of research and administrator have taken over automatically. And you are Sarek, so you must have been a governor there somewhere. Okay, interesting. So, hopefully this would work. I'm not sure. So many things to do with so many things going on at the same time. We also have an uh, infertilizer fully backed out, which is interesting. Okay, I'm not quite sure how we can get us some intelligence, because for some it's certainly moving over here. So... <laughs> We are getting 9 influence right now, so, <laughs> um, can we claim anything? We can build something here, right? Okay, so well, apparently, uh, why do we need influence for that? Because someone else has a claim on this already? But it could be. But you cannot really claim uninhabited systems, can you do? I want to claim this. It's okay, we're getting there, which is something. That's at least something. Yeah, and also this one, because we have too many minerals in here, they're too fancy, which is why we cannot claim this that easily. That could be. I'm not too familiar with the mechanics here, but I'm doing my best, uh, man. <laughs> well, uh, we can claim this system. Okay, we have a 15, uh, whatever, maybe inside. Maybe it's a start. This looks very juicy, but it's water ice, hardly that important, right? But they want this system, of course. 
Yeah, Deuterium, I think it's that we also have some... Oh, it actually does tell us, of course. Yeah, 15 Deuterium to energy credits. That's uh, pretty decent, is it not? About the coins. Deuterium is also a strategic resource, of course. Engineering, minerals. Okay, that's not a, a terrible system. Uh, we could build it already, but it's 75 influence. But from, well, it depends. We can start building uh, because we keep an eye on this constructor ship, for instance. I mean, um, we have crippling shortages of, uh, of all types. It's custom various with this, I guess. Okay, it is going down, though. So why is it so alarming? Doing our best, dear friends. Yeah, should we do? Whatever you say there. Okay, uh, we're also losing minerals because of jobs on the ground, because the populace will be migrating automatically and so on and so forth, I think at least. Maybe they're just building some mining bases, could also be who knows. But they would bet on it, of course. Are they still considering this invitation? Oh, they are, have become a fully fledged member now, which is interesting. Okay, so that puts us uh, directly in conflict with the uh, with the Cardassians, right? But still, I think it's a good idea to add them. Maybe you can also form the Federation eventually once you have some influence to spare. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so apparently migration packs are pretty expensive. Who knew? <laughs> okay, wow, well, um, that's interesting. A diamond in the rough. Getting new scientist. Oh, uh, I suppose we could get a new scientist. We can uh, do more research. I think that's fine. Uh, I like that actually. Also, Spark of Genius. Excellent for research purposes, incidentally. Okay, and of course, guess where they're going? Guess where they're going, my friends? They're going over here, aren't they? So, why well, then we cannot delay the empty book camp before? I don't think we can. Uh, I think that we'll, well, which system are they going for? I don't know. Which one do we want to give away then? Because once they claim it, that's that then. But I do believe there will be a rival before we do, so we cannot, right? Of course we cannot. That's <laughs> nine influence now. Okay, well, um, great, fantastic. So another opportunity will slip through our fingers because of the fucking Akamarians. I thought we would take this over, but something would have happened, you know. Um, I mean, something was bound to happen if uh, the last stronghold just collapses entirely. The last planet is taken over, and then, of course, it was the end of the Gorn Hegemony. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, we have some triples. Um, do we want to mess with triples? We have to feed them incidentally to activate them. Question mark. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, now we have three triples. Okay, well. <laughs> but it's funny. Okay, time project when we are on the way someplace. I do remember setting our fleets in this area. Hopefully they will arrive in time, yes. Okay, and you are doing what exactly auto um Okay, upgrading and then you're doing some auto uh, construction, I sure hope at least. Okay, so that's interesting. <laughs> Okay, well, um, it's a race for minerals apparently, and it's a goner now, isn't it? I think it is. Okay, so that does away with some supply consumption. Look at how slow our ships are. Look at how slow our ships are. Can we take a look? See as to where they're moving. They're moving. <laughs> And the inevitable has happened because someone came to the rescue, of course. But oh, the Vormo isn't open yet, so I guess I guess. Okay, so just finished. Fantastic. Yeah, where are they going? They're jumping to the Vormo. So why are ships so slow? Because they are not upgraded, even though they're newly constructed. So I'm not quite sure why they would be. Okay, power hub. I think it's uh, in um, building somewhere on the ground. Right, okay, some afterburners could be good. I think they should be installed automatically sometimes. And there we have some uh, ship upgrades. Well, fantastic. Okay, um, can we maybe finally claim the system? Can we? Oh man, this, this interface is horrendous. There we go. Please build the starbase. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, this interface is really, really, really bad if you do so myself. Okay, I'm not sure where they are going. But we don't need two ships in the area. But if they don't want this, then we take it maybe, even though it's too pricey. So maybe next month. Alright, ah, let's just move here and stay here and see what we want to do. Maybe they're actually moving over here could be, but at least we're claiming one star base, which is better than nothing. Okay, 200 experience for someone. Maybe uh, before I forget, we also want to build that uh, Sime ship, do we not? I think there's a ship here someplace. So far, so good. No uh, rebellion is broken out against our rule. And yeah, they could declare independence and reform the, uh, yeah, of course, the uh, Gorn Empire. They want to, they could try that. But if I knew where they were moving, I would be doing something about that. <laughs> They're still beating us to the draw, would it not be? That's still uh, theoretically a Cameron sovereignty. Okay, how long will it take to get to the system? How long will it take? 22, 30. 
<laughs> Please, move over here. Why can't it be so much faster? Why are we taking the stupidest path possible? I think they would take this right from us. Of course they will. I can just see it because it's three jumps or four jumps or five jumps for us or something stupid like this. Well, it's unbelievable, frankly. Okay, um, the, of course, the cat people have become more militaristic as it's customary around here with every single empire. All right, you are a new scientist, apparently. All right, when we get you something to do, I would presume. So this can be another auto researcher. I think we have how many right now? Yeah, that's something you can do for us, my friend. Yeah, right nearby, as a matter of fact. Okay, so there's no here. Ah, there, so why? <laughs> why are our construction ships so slow all the time? I know it's an unbeaten vessel, but still, this is outrageous, frankly. How long it takes for us to arrive anywhere for that matter? And literally everywhere. Okay, so we need to get this going before we try to build more starbits because they will uh, probably interfere with the uh, acquisition of these, uh, or at least the spending of the influence cost, you know. I can obviously see this being lost because our ships are too slow. I can just, I can just see it. And that's our first reward, of course. Well, fantastic. Great, lovely. It is on go now, I would figure. Uh, okay, so what are you going to do about this? Institute the crackdown. We do have some troops in the area, but landing troops on the ground doesn't change anything, incidentally. No, it doesn't change a goddamn thing, incidentally. Okay, for now we just distribute amenities. I hope we can bribe them to victory. And that we still have these fucking mining drones. Don't we have anything else to worry about? <laughs> Where is it now, man? Oh man, so many things to do in this game sometimes. It's completely overwhelming. Our empire is a minuscule by comparison. So where are we now? Where's this fucking fleet back here? And Nimbus 3, of course, again. While we do some fleets, we have the Starbase. They can certainly make this useful, right? I'm hoping. That's what they're here for, of course. Yeah, so get in here, defend this piece. That would be sell, my friend. And what's the crippling shortage? Mineral shortage, food shortage, and supply shortage. Well, of course, everything at the same time and then some. So we have to trade uh, with the market again and see what we can do. So we have accumulated some uh, Latinum at least. So sell it all, please. I said we sell it all. And we get out some food, maybe. So okay, that's will not last the whole lot here. So. <laughs> uh, isn't it lovely? Also, minerals are running low, which is uh, outrageous, frankly. This is not allies for a change. And of course, energy credits, so well, hopefully this will uh, solve some problems in the short term. So, the ship is still not here, but as a reminder, it still isn't here. It's still jumping. And then jumping, and then jumping some more. <laughs> hopefully our new friends will contribute uh, to our federation with an envoy or whatever. Okay, so uh, what are we talking about? I'm not quite sure who it is, frankly, but apparently it's some uh, friends relatively close by the area. Okay, special project has completed. We are adding some ancient ruins and we also get some experience. I think I take it. Okay, who are we talking about? Uh, no, these people must be a minor race or some place. Yeah, these guys. This tiny thing here. Is it only a one system type of affair? How many... Uh, <laughs> how many plans do they actually have? They're pathetic and fear in every single regard. In... I suppose you can give them association status, why not, I guess. What I want to do is to finally get a constructor ship in here. How long can it take? Still two jumps away, incidentally. Well, at least I seem to be building some other stuff, not uh, yeah, the base right now. We're still losing XP. We're losing plenty of stuff, as you can tell, evidently. So I must have to bribe these guys on the ground because it's, yeah, the system is an absolute goddamn mess, incidentally. Yeah, hopefully we can build some mining bases eventually. Right, okay, can we finally move over here? I mean, how difficult can it be, frankly? Right, not that we have any problems with uh, relationships anyway, I would figure. Oh, this is good experience. It's also good uh, world building, incidentally. Okay, supplies will be running out in two months, of course, because we have to bribe these people, and supplies are always in a indeed short supply. Oh, okay, so, oh man, there's so many things to do here in this game. Okay, so once again, we have crippling shortages everywhere, and it never ends, while it just never ends, incidentally. Maybe we can get something from the United of Government again, if it's now. Since the Historian, uh, President, apparently. Okay, so, <laughs> it feels more like an, uh, economy simulator, but not in a good way, incidentally, because it's getting mighty on my nerves here, frankly. Yeah, maybe I have to scrap some ships or whatever. Okay, so how much do we need? Let's just put in 500 requests and see what else we can offer. Obviously, none of these items. So, well, there could be some Delifium. We don't need Delifium right now presently. And we also have an overcapacity of star bases. Yeah, well, okay, 125 modifier. 
is that from base 100 or is it just straight 125% yeah, more could be that would explain some problems we have over here for instance yeah, okay, Starbase are very pricey to maintain, so maybe I have to scrap some of them after all as it turns out. But for now, we see what we can do. We can also transfer some systems, but then for some supplies, why that would be outrageous. Speaking of supplies, stations 20. Pops is 212, incidentally. <laughs> but even getting rid of, I oh no, situations, not uh, stations, right? I'm sorry. So stations consume energy credits for the most part, so 100, fantastic. Or they would fix the energy credits uh, short for, for instance. Theoretically. Hmm. Now, what can we trade away for that matter? So let's just see here. We do have some of those crystals, and everyone likes these crystals around here, I guess. Yeah, indeed they do. So, well, fantastic. <laughs> Alright, so we try that maybe. <laughs> the least fix one problem, right? Okay, so about, um, if we downgrade some bases, which one should it be? We need naval capacity, do we not? Yeah. We probably need naval capacity, so scrapping this would be a stupid idea, incidentally. Maybe we can add some uh, economic value to them by adding some solar panels, for instance, once we have the opportunity to do that. Oh, we're finally jumping. That's a miracle. So we should be building automatically now, I think. Thank you once again, my Saurian friend. Okay, we're building the Starbase, I hope. We are moving and then we are building. Okay, it's fantastic. Okay, so we can maybe claim more other systems than, for instance, this one. Shouldn't be too pricey for us. We are coming at least some influence. Yeah, we are building that and the other ones, of course, are not too pricey for us. Okay, but hopefully we can make ourselves useful at least and see what we can do. Um, we want to claim all of these systems, especially with those with minerals inside, of course. Okay, some torpedoes. It's always good. Advanced ships. Well, since we cannot afford any advanced ships right now, but this, I guess. Deep mining network could be useful on the other hand. I think I need to send some opponents to automatic something because it's going to get a little bit too much for me right now. Too many systems to worry about at the same time. There wasn't even any, any automation in the game a couple of years ago, was there though? I think it was a fairly new feature. Yeah, they are claiming systems of course, you just cannot see it right now. Also, not everything can be a uh, part of the Vulcan High Command as you would figure. Mining stations will help out tremendously because they're barely breaking even, but we're losing 109 energy credits too. <laughs> okay, but are we building this, right? I think. Yeah, we're building indeed. Okay, once we uh, have some additional influence, we should probably also claim more systems. 47, okay. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, that, that's a relief indeed, right? Okay, so the reward is going up. Fantastic. Okay, but lovely. Nothing is ever going well for us as you would think. Okay, so a bit of a mining base, and then we go here and try to also put a flag pole in the ground somewhere. To give us free energy credits and some other stuff that could be of use. Trade value. Well, okay, I'm not sure it would make any difference uh, if we don't have any habitable plants inside, who knows. Alright, oh, we can at least make our way through here and some science is nice, but what we need is, okay, water ice is not that worrisome. But everything a little bit helps the same goes. Okay, Rebellion. What can we do about the Rebellion? Uh, well, we have a situation ongoing. Uh, we have crime problems, so let's just see about prioritizing this, for instance. That could be a good idea. Okay, then, uh, the deficits of all types, uh, as is customary back here. Some people have migrated away with no amenities whatsoever, so we have to... Uh, we cannot really afford this, but we need to, ride. Right? It's too pricey, because situation is uh, 40 now, I think. So, well, we will be running dry on supplies again. We just purchased 500 or so. Well, then we maybe have an institute a, a crackdown after all, so it turns out. Maybe it's necessary. Yeah, maybe we have to. I don't think we can afford this. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's, oh no, we cannot decline, right? Oh no, now if this a uh, 10 year thing to worry about, should probably read this, right? Shouldn't I? So these are just some things that are set uh, one time only, and we cannot uh, <laughs> probably cancel these decisions on command, which is interesting. Also kind of annoying, frankly. Okay, what can we do about this, though? Institute a crackdown? Maybe? Would this even solve a problem? It's going up still, right? Regardless of this. Now yeah, what can we do? We have to put the foot down, I guess. Okay, maybe let some troops. I don't think we'll even do anything in this case. Okay, governor. Uh, we do for governor. It's even the Gorn governor, but they're probably strictly on their side of the figure. And that's, that's uh, something to worry about, right? Okay, so we uh, have amenities. We, of course, we're paying for them for our noses. We have uh, plenty of opportunities. We have a police network, which hopefully has been prioritized. Indeed, it has been. 
So I'm not quite sure what else you could be doing because approval is too low. And approval will be going up until we can provide them with some jobs which we are doing with commercial districts and the power station and the entertainment system and all the other stuff we want to do here. Uh, but I'm not going to lose the system though, incidentally. That's not going to happen anytime soon, I'm hoping. Although we will probably go broke, I would figure. Before anything else. The future, okay. Which future? Or whose future for that matter? Okay, there goes the starbase, so we can try to uh, regain some of the minerals in here. Okay, so build a mining station or multiple mining stations as it were, I would figure. Probably. Okay, and then uh, hopefully we can at least get a couple of systems to it. That would be great. This one is not so important, but if they don't want it, I'm happily taking it, incidentally. Well, uh, we could make this happen if we want to. Is some research. But not uh, that important, I would figure. Okay, they have not served. Oh, they haven't surveyed it. Oh, okay, that was nice because they didn't spy on the Gorn Why? Which is why I didn't get any intelligence about this area. But in this case, I'm more than happy to get in here and get something done. Hmm, maybe we should do that. You can also trade away the systems if we don't uh, decide them to be uh, of any importance in particular. Maybe for minerals or anything in between. <laughs> okay, well, but if they haven't solved the system yet, that's at least good for us, which means it would take them very long to actually claim that stuff. Although here on the other hand would be a different story, right? Yeah, okay, but it's too pricey apparently. More well, interesting. Well, we take care of business, then we set yourself to auto-constructing or whatever. So how can we fix this crippling shortage? That would be slow. I'm not quite sure. We're building stuff non-stop, so unless I can keep trading for this shit, then we have some problems I would figure. Lots of problems. It's getting on my nerves, so incidentally, if you haven't uh, been able to tell. Should have had at least some delivery around, I would figure. So. But they don't want it because they have a surplus of the shit anyway. But we can keep trading LVDs for eternity, can we not? That's not going to happen. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> from 30 to minus 1000, that seems sensible their game. Uh, right, so hopefully this will be giving us something. Maybe a couple of months. And we're also losing food, incidentally, so what's the price We have to feed all of our people. Man, <laughs> it's just ridiculous, frankly. I'm not quite sure we can ever uh, fix our short for. So, as with the Orion, we have crippling shorts all across the board, absolutely crippling ones, incidentally. Okay, and we have an array, which I do believe is a repairable superstructure, or mega structure, whatever they call it in this game. It's still going up, but I was supposed to do with that shit. So, <laughs> no, send in the fucking military. So if they want to have it that way, then so be it, I guess. Okay, why did we survey that? Because about the answers, we didn't have anything else to do. But I'm not going to claim this because it's uh, frankly indefensible with other concerns right now. So okay, you will be uh, then probably just an auto researcher again or whatever. Yeah, probably right. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, but it was the last system anyway from what I can see. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not sure what else we can do here, frankly. I'm a bit uh, at a loss, if I'm honest. Okay, well, uh, try to do something here, but that if you wouldn't mind. Okay, we have an island constructor. These, by the way, these are docked, so we get a 33% bonus, uh, as you can see. Okay, so we're upgrading, then we're moving to our new home base, which hopefully does have in cool quarters. If it doesn't, we need to probably change that. We have an orbital hospital and a defense grip, because it's a defense. Well, it makes sense when you think about it. Okay, then, uh... <laughs> Okay, maybe set in some crew quarters back here. That could be a good idea. This interface, frankly, is terrible. It's absolutely terrible, but then uh, we have some crew quarters in here, at least which is better than nothing. Okay, uh, you are... Well, we're also docked in the wrong station, incidentally, because we need to get some uh, refund here, right, for our maintenance cost, for instance. Okay, and you're orbiting some other station. So, back here. Well, of course, we don't have a crew quarters in here, so hopefully we can fix that. It should hopefully also take away some of our crippling burden and in terms of maintenance and whatnot. Okay, and then also the armies. I mean, what can the armies do? They cannot suppress a descent on the ground, can they do? I don't think it's possible. So, well, um, I suppose in case there is a rebellion, then we keep the ships a little bit closer. Could not be a terrible idea. And the starbase does have crew quarters, so we get a refund at least, which is something. Okay, so researching this was probably useless. We cannot trade the information away or anything in between. And none of these uh, warp capable races have uh, joined us yet, incidentally. Yeah, future, I think it's for the Gorn future. So, <laughs> I think it is actually. So, we'll take a look at this here momentarily. 
Oh, what we could do is to create a vessel out of the Gorn systems and they will be forced to uh, well, serve us for the rest of their existence, presumably. And we put it in more polite terms, of course. And then the supply situation and the uh, yeah, rebellion and whatever will be their problem then. That could not be terrible in of itself, right? Okay, how many starbase are we over four? Okay, can we maybe downgrade some of them? But that also means, of course, we don't have any access to this. And if we don't have access to this, then you see the problem, right? The pattern, incidentally. Uh, but I said, no, we cannot afford all of this can be doors. So we have to downgrade at least a couple of them and hope it doesn't put us immediately over the threshold because I would like to have a third fleet or fourth fleet even. Yeah, we can't afford this, I'm sorry. It's stupid, but we cannot. So, okay, well, um, we still have one opportunity, maybe. In Starbase, apparently, uh, well, we need to unpost the game, I would figure. So it's plus 50% now instead of plus 125. So that's a scary thing for the We also want to trade opportunities eventually, do we not? We could upgrade them. That gives us more slots. So there's maybe one uh, redundant star base in here, I would figure. May as well just be this one here, incidentally, right? Okay, plus 25%. So another one maybe. What are you equipped with? Shipyard, okay, well, it's probably a good idea to put on a couple of shipyards, I would figure. So we have, uh, of course, yeah, economic value right now. And this one, on the other hand, is a border station, and we don't know about the Klingons, which is why there should be exactly where they are right now. Yeah, we could scrap this, for instance. That could be an option, but I don't think I will. I don't see anything else you can scrap, but at least you cut out 100% out of our maintenance course, which is a better nothing, I guess. Influence is actually going down right now. Why do? Because the situation is ongoing. <laughs> we actually losing influence. I'm not sure what happens if we have no influence any longer. Well, uh, I don't think we can fix that, supposedly. Maybe not. Okay, this play of power gives us uh, maximum influence gain right now, but it could help, I suppose. I don't think it will, but it could... Uh, every single bit helps the same goes. Yeah, situation is the maximum wide. <laughs> it's so difficult right now. Well, uh, there's rebellion. So what can we do about that right now? The answer is we cannot do anything about that, right? So it also means, of course, you cannot build additional star bases, so it's all interconnected, as you can tell, evidently. But this has been queued up, so I do believe we can still build that. I sure hope at least. You can build some mining base, I think that's fine. Okay, this problem has been alleviated to a certain degree. Maybe. We have still over capacity by one star base, but simply cannot get rid of anything else. So, what guess I guess? These are only outposts, for that matter. Okay, it is going down because we have instituted a very strict military uh, crackdown, which is uh, probably not befitting of a Vulcan, but at least I guess. Zeno friendship. Well, we can be friendly with anyone around here. I think this is fine. And we also get into a member of the coalition. And speaking of the coalition, is anyone actually helping out? Okay, there's another envoy. It's only our new member, incidentally, but we're getting there. We're getting there, my friend. Maybe assign another one. So what are we doing? Ja, yeah, okay. Well, um, I suppose for now the uh, Federation is probably slightly more important. It's only to build a star base because they're now lacking influence, right? Because they don't resolve anything because that would be too smart, I would figure. Okay, that gives us uh, additional fleet command limit for all of our fleets, which is always appreciated. Galactic Forum, well, it's a superstructure that would give us well, maybe some pull in interstellar diplomacy. That could be a good idea. So piracy and suppression. Yeah, well, it's a star base assignment, presumably. I guess it could be interesting. Needs to some other stuff, presumably. And the Brian have uh, declared war on their Renegade Brothers, I guess. I do remember that scene. Because you know? this is evidently a Renegade faction. <laughs> okay, interesting. Of course, there will be a war between those things. No. Creatures, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I don't want to be racist, of course, against alien beings, heaven forbid. And the Bajor has been once again being integrated into the Cardassian Union. Of course, it has been. Yeah, what's actually up with you? We serve the Union. Ja, yeah, hier soft very well because they're superior, yeah, of course. No, but I think uh, we have no room for expansion, but we can do right now is to form the Federation. I mean, 
We are those who march under the raptor's wing. I was really hoping for some opportunities to maybe uh, have this um, yeah, unification event in the TNG era, and we're almost in the TNG era, so too far off, you know, because the time is progressing relatively speedily in this game. So, okay, but of course, uh, we can't be the Star Wars any longer, so let me guess it's because of influence, and he didn't reserve any influence because it's not a resource we can uh, probably yeah, reserve, I would figure. Okay, so it's going down because of this event, so what gives I guess? Well, there's nothing we can do, so build a mining base, and then we put you on auto-constructing or whatever. Probably something like this, I would figure. This game is very heavy in terms of micromanagement, there's no opportunity to automate much, as it would seem. Yeah, as it would seem, right? What gives I guess? Yeah, the animal will keep in the area and then scrap it or whatever. Once we're done with the situation of ours, which hopefully will only take one or two months along the line. Okay, food uh, is running out in four months, the influence runs out in three months, and I'm what happens when indeed it happens. Because I cannot get any additional influence, incidentally. Okay, excellent, fantastic, we should fix that problem, I'm hoping. Only happens at the end of the month, I'm hoping. Okay, this is a goner now, we're still losing food though. Creating a vessel could be an emergency measure, but it would be then just an emergency measure, incidentally. Yeah, okay, so how, how can we fix our food problem? And people have to eat, I get that. Okay, Federation to the rescue, please, once again. <laughs> Okay, but I don't think there's a point of uh, well, um, moving much further today because I've achieved our war goal. We absolutely uh, removed the goal as a threat to galactic peace and now it's just a matter of picking up the pieces because of the planet is suffering from crippling overpopulation, for instance. Okay, but for now we just uh, try to see what we can do with another uh, yeah, option. I don't think we can trade away too many crystals any longer, can we do? But we can certainly offer a trade deal. Take a look at this again and find out that we still have a stockpile of uh, 2.7k of these crystals and I like them so much. Okay, but everything is all fancy. And we're Indeed, take also the fancy. So, 600. What can we get for 600? We need some food for starters. Maybe also a banfield. It would not be a terrible idea. Okay, but it gives us. Why we don't want to run over the stockpile essentially, right? Also, and some energy credits. The Federation always has plenty of energy credits. So, give us maybe 2000 of heat. If it's so nice here for you, I think I take it quite happily. Also, some supplies, incidentally, because otherwise we will go broke. And if we go broke, people will riot. Okay, so they don't have any, any more supplies to give here. Oh, it's worth trading like 50 or so, right? And uh, anything else that's in short supply, maybe some alloys. I don't know if we've recovered our stock, but just a tiny bit, which is interesting. Thankfully, we do have some supplies already. Maybe some minerals. We cannot, of course, trade for influence, as you would think. I really love their crystals. I think the AI is completely broken in this game sometimes. I think at least, but then we get in stock of energy credits, maybe. Can we store that much? Yeah, 55,000. <laughs> There's no way we ever going to have that much here in this game. Forget about this. Okay, so that should give us what we need, I'm hoping. Yeah, okay, well, it's an interesting trade. Probably like an entire convoy or two convoys in worth of uh, supplies here, whatever, right? Okay, but well, that's funny. Food shortage, why well, we just soft on food shortage, I'm hoping. Yeah, there we go, just uh, needs to update, of course. Well, thanks for that once again coming to our rescue, dear friends. Yeah, maybe next month we can do it, and they're building a mega structure back here. Okay, we don't know which type of mega structure it is, but that's something I was expecting to see there, incidentally. Okay, there goes some mining opportunities. That's at least something. Nebula Refinery is a starbase uh, upgrade, apparently. Yeah, we really need to uh, work on some of our economic uh, stuff right now, as you would think. It's probably important. <laughs> Okay, so well, fantastic. Well, maybe we set in the construction of one more starbase, and then we are gonna for the day, I'm thinking. Yeah, okay, now the shift we don't really care about. Right now it would figure. Yeah, I need to look over all of our systems in between episodes once again because it's going to be necessary. Okay, one stop is over, I'm not too concerned about because even two of these solar arrays that will be making up the difference here, no problem whatsoever. Okay, we earn some physics research, I think I take it. It could just be society research, either way. It's good to know when you look at it. 
Yeah, rivalry, but it's not against us. I never saw the highlight exactly that. <laughs> okay, so can we find the uh, claim that a system maybe? Yeah, okay, take this here, please. There's a little bit of research. I think I take it. And you get a position for the next area. Can it automate this particular area, of course. Okay, there are I think they already had an. But okay, I think I take it. Oh, yeah. Plus 5% across the board without any upgrades. I think it's excellent. Ja, yeah, once again, we're losing the codes. <laughs> well, um, what food shortages? We have a massive stockpile, but of course I still get that fucking melody here, because it doesn't update uh, until the end of the month, so I get this fucking shit here regardless, right? Isn't that lovely? I really love this mechanic, I really do. It's like punishing us two times over, you know? Okay, but of course you can't do anything with that here right now, because it's too pricey, I would figure. It could be interesting, where is it exactly for that matter? Okay, it's a mega structure and a classic system. Well, we happen to have some constructors nearby to make this a feasible, I suppose. You could maybe do it. We can at least take a look, see. We are research projects and then tell us exactly how many resources are required to uh, maintain the structure. Okay, what did they actually build here? We don't know. But it's mostly two stages. Uh, you set the foundation, the basic structure, the lattice and whatever, and then you put in the structure on the top here, so to speak. Yeah, it's actually multiple months, right? I have to wait for this to go away for multiple months, even though I'm fully responsible for getting us a full stock pie of that shit. But of course, I'm getting <laughs> opinions for everything in this game, essentially. For everything, and then some. Okay, another constructor is coming uh, to help out, I guess. I'm not going to where we're building these stations, but it must be in a very uh, particular position, as it seems. You talk and you talk, but you have no garamba. Really? We just fought with the Gorn, incidentally. Okay, uh, someone wants to be invited to the coalition. Who is it this time around? Uh, these people again? No, they are almost indefensible. They're right on the Klinger border. It's that tiny area back here, incidentally, I figure. Yeah, I, yeah, these guys here, I think, somewhere. But they're so small, I can even see that very easily from the screen. But either way, we cannot come to the defense, forget about this. I won't know this here, I'm sorry. My guys should treat even with the North Seacans, but if it does, uh, does something to avoid war in the future, I suppose why not? Now, yeah, speaking of we war... We are those who march under the raptor's wings. Yeah, they're improving our relations, uh, because they like us, for whatever reason, interestingly enough. They're, but of course, they're also superior. And they've been humiliated uh, during the war with the, the King Gorns, and they're overwhelming, as a matter of fact. Pretty overwhelming, but at least we're maintaining somewhat friendly relations with them right now. And this is just the Vassos, right? I think. Yeah, of course, it's still the Vassos. Well, I would like to have my own Vassos, but of course, he cannot right now. <laughs> Ever for that matter. And what would it take to actually uh, form the Federation? I think it's a uh, decision somewhere we can make. I did see that at one stage, but I don't remember where it was, incidentally. Well, regardless, we wait for this to go away, and then we have the full information available so I can plan my moves in between episodes after looking for all the systems, incidentally. Yeah, and fair, because there's no point to this. There would not be of any asset to us. Yeah, it's these people. One system, two systems. What happened there? But well, nothing good, incidentally. Yeah, at least we're finally getting enough influence to gain some of the systems. So we can fill with mining bases for starters. I think this area is of no concern unless someone were to come from the uh, edge of the galaxy to ruin our day. The Tyrim is full, actually. Okay, so... <laughs> ah, I think it's uh, enough for today, right? I think it's enough for today, my friends. But regardless, the most important episode. And the next time around, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Because I think uh, we are running a little bit out of room for expansion and things to do for that matter. Because the Gorn have been defeated. And now it's just a matter of maintenance and micromanagement. So in this case, actually, yeah, I think we're done with this, aren't we? Because we cannot force our unification with the Romulus Empire. It's completely infeasible. Uh, as a minor race, we will never be able to project that type of military power unless we were to form the Federation. And we're doing that how exactly because I remember seeing that someplace. I think it was an edict, wasn't it? I think it was actually an edict. We can form the United Federation of Planets, which will last uh, six months, okay? Yeah, 
interesting. But okay, why don't we actually do exactly that here, right? Because I don't feel like, uh, yeah, concluding the rest of Let's Play because I also said to do here, frankly, we took care of the Gorn. We have made a border with the Robins, the Empire. And that's all we can do. We are looking at crippling shortages all across the board, non-stop, everywhere. No matter where we look, every single month, we have shortages everywhere. And I'm getting so tired of this bullshit, frankly. Another reward here. Even I'm doing my best, you know, send the fucking military to squash these people. I don't really care. Alright, I suppose that we kick off the edict and see what we can do after saving the game properly so I can... Yeah, I don't think I will uh, conclude this uh, let's play here as part of an uh, ongoing run. Maybe try something else. Maybe I'm done with this game because it was only supposed to be a let's try anyway, right? And I think uh, some of the Stellaris specific problems are starting to get on my nerves. For instance, the economy and the horribly broken war system and so on and so forth. And the AI obviously is also not up to much here, incidentally. Sometimes it's brilliant, but most of the time it's just brain dead. Even if it's cheating like a golden bastard or high difficulty levels, it's still relatively brain dead. I uh, haven't forbid fix any of these core problems, but uh, well, the primary consideration of Paradox seems to be uh, selling us the SC at this point in time. And I think, yeah, it's the same problem as I've already noticed in Victoria 2, for instance, and some of the other games. It's a Paradox title. It has the exact same problems, no matter what, right? It feels the exact same, incidentally. So, <laughs> yes, let me just uh, kick off the edict and see what we can do. It says it uh, takes six months, but we need 413 influence. Well, that's never going to happen here, my friends. That's never going to happen. I'm not going to sit around here for, uh, I'm not quite sure, two or three uh, real time in hours here for this to tick up here. No, we're also taking care of our stuff in between. So I do believe that will be the end of the run here for the Vulcanite Command. And we've achieved uh, quite a few things. We have squashed the Gorn. They can never threaten Galactic Peace again. We also took control of Nimbus 3, incidentally. So that means, of course, that we are done. Uh, either for today or in general with Stellaris for at least for a little bit, yes. Okay, but it was still an interesting experience. But overall, I do believe I still prefer a birth of the Federation. So once again, my search for a true successor has ended in a relative failure. And I do know from uh, watching a Let's Play that Distant Worlds uh, Universe with the Picard mod would be just as disappointing because the I, in this particular title is even more broken than in Stellaris. But regardless, that's all we can do. So I have a I think of watching and I uh, wish you a good day.